older all-in-one liquid CPU coolers will have mounting and pressure distribution issues with Intel's Alder Lake LGA 1700 CPUs. We have managed to get our hands on more data that shows how older CPU coolers fare in the same test when using a proper LGA 1700 mounting kit that companies are shipping with them. To make their existing coolers compatible with Intel's Alder Lake lineup, many cooling brands have released an LGA 1700 upgrade kit which features mounting hardware for the new socket. But the Intel Alder Lake platform isn't just a brand new mounting design, but the CPU dimensions itself have changed significantly too. As publishing in detail by Igor's lab, the LGA 1700 VO socket not only has an asymmetrical design, but also comes with a lower Z stack height. This means that proper mounting pressure is needed to make full contact with the Intel Alder Lake internal heat spreader. Certain cooler manufacturers have already been using larger cold plates for Ryzen and Threadripper CPUs to make proper contact with the internal heat spreaders, but these are mostly high-end and new cooling designs. Those who are still running older all-in-one coolers with round cold plates could have trouble maintaining the required pressure distribution, which could lead to inadequate cooling performance. With that out of the way, our sources have provided us with pictures of several all-in-one liquid coolers and how well they make contact with the Alder Lake desktop CPUs. Starting with Corsair's H15i Pro, comes with an adjustable LGA kit that can fit the LGA 1700 socket, but it looks like the mounting pressure of this mechanism isn't enough to make full contact with the new CPU. Do you know, Corsair's H150i Pro does make good contact with the middle where the CPU die rests, but it leaves room for perfection like the two MSI coolers, the 360RV2 and the P360C360 series. Moving on to the Aorus Waterforce X360, which comes with the LGA 1700 mounting kit, we can see slightly worse contact than the H150i Pro. The worst contender is the Asus ROG Rigen 360, which was tested with a standard LGA 1700 kit. The cooler shows a large contact gap in the middle where the die rests and would lead to poor thermal performance and possibly trap heat between the internal heat spreader and the cooler base plate, leading to higher temperatures. Cooling plays a major role in determining the performance of the Intel Alder Lake CPUs, especially with the unlocked lineup, which as per our own review, runs really hot. Users will have to utilize the best of the best cooling hardware to maintain an adequate temperature, and more so if they are planning to overclock these chips. This is certainly a topic that needs to be investigated further, and we hope Intel, along with other cooling manufacturers, are more clear regarding this to consumers. But what do you think? Let us know in the comments down below, and don't forget to subscribe for more fantastic tech news.